everybody. My name is Mengi, and welcome to my first attempt at a moto vlog. Hopefully it goes pretty well. And if you're watching this now, then that means it must have went pretty okay at least. This is the Moto Mangi channel. That's the name I came up with for my Moto Vlog channel. I had a list of names that I was thinking about using. But Moto Mangi is the one I hated the least. I kind of like it. The more I said it, the more it kind of grew on me. I should say a little bit about myself, I guess. I've been riding motorcycles pretty much my entire life. I had dirt bikes when I was a kid. And then when I turned 16, I took the motorcycle safety course, got my M-Class license for free. That was nice. I started out riding cheap Kawasaki's when I was in high school. And, you know, didn't have much money. Rode those cheap Kawasaki's through college. And after graduating, the first week of working a real job out of college, I bought myself a 76 Harley Davidson Sportster. That was a bike with character. And then for the next 26 years, all I rode were Harley Davidsons. I owned seven different Harleys over that time frame. A couple used ones, a couple new ones. And for those 26 years, I pretty much lived, breathed, and only looked at Harley Davidsons. I guess you could say I was in the culture, but truthfully, I just liked them. But as you can see now, I'm riding this 2018 Honda Goldwing. Before it, I had a 2016 Road Glide Ultra. And I love that bike. I love Road Glide Ultras, actually. I feel they're the best motorcycle Harley Davidson makes today. But on a dare, I took this Goldwing for a test drive. And it won me over. Not at first. Took two test rides and one demo ride for a whole day long, well, for half a day, to convince me to finally leave Harley and buy my first Honda ever. Over all those years of riding, I've ridden hundreds of thousands of miles. I've been cross country a few times, coast to coast, both California and Oregon. Been north and south quite a bit, down to the Smokies, up to Maine, New Hampshire, Vermont area, lots of riding in the Midwest, the Dakotas and Sturgis area, Black Hills. But in all those years of riding, it wasn't until a few weeks ago that I bought my first GoPro. I'm using a Hero 8 Black, by the way. So far, I like it. For years, friends of mine have been telling me to buy a GoPro and take videos of the rides with. I go on, go solo with friends of mine. I always take a camera with me. It's in the tour pack now, actually. You know, you can pull over and stop and take pictures or whatever. Key word there being pulled over though, because you do have to stop to get the camera out and take pictures. Sometimes that's not always convenient not always places to pull over. So it took me a while, but 
I finally decided it was time to buy a video camera. Also, it took me a while because I'm a very frugal person, is what I would say. Some of my friends would just say I'm cheap. A few of my friends would just say I'm a cheap All three are correct. But now that I've had a few weeks to mess around with the GoPro, I will admit, it's rather handy. For taking videos of scenic locations when you're riding, while you're riding, that's the important distinction between a GoPro and a camera, a DSLR camera. You don't have to stop. You can just take video or pictures while you're riding. So yeah, I've got a GoPro now mounted to my helmet. Took a bit of playing around to get a helmet mount that I like though. I wear an open face helmet, so I know most people like to use full face helmets and then they mount the GoPro to the chin bar. With an open face helmet I can't do that, so I played around with mounting it to the side of the helmet and then I mounted it, as you can see, front and center under a retractable visor my helmet has. And I actually like the way it I have it mounted now. It works pretty good. I have a lot of footage of me testing different mounts out. Maybe I'll make a video about the iterative process of trying to mount a GoPro Hero 8 to the front and center of an open face helmet. But now that I have it mounted, a few of my friends have said I should start a YouTube channel take videos of rides and put up footage so they can... Uh, we're going to go behind this guy. You know, take videos of rides I'm on, that kind of stuff, scenery, whatever. I figured, heck, why not? I've been watching Moto Vlogs for years now. Various YouTube people like uh, Fort9 and McKaylee7, Harley Dayrider, two-wheeled obsession, her two wheels. So I decided to, I think it could hurt to do it. I don't really expect to make any money at it. It's kind of just a fun hobby right now. But you know, the possibility of making a little bit of extra cash is there. So it can't hurt to try. Deciding to make a channel though, I had to decide what I was going to do with it. Was well, I just going to record rides I go on and just put quiet footage up of me riding around? That didn't seem very worthwhile. I don't really feel like reviewing various motorcycles. Although I might do some of that because I do like test riding other bikes now. I didn't used to when I was just a Harley rider. But now, that I've kind of opened my eyes to other motorcycles, I'm beginning to realize there's a lot of other bikes out there. I know it sounds silly, probably to a lot of you, but there was a time when Harley was the only bike I looked at. I mean, really. For 26 years, I didn't visit any dealers other than Harley Davidson dealers. I just didn't do it. But now I do. So I think my idea for this channel is simply going to be doing the thing I love doing best on motorcycles. And that is exploring roads. I like just riding around. I like sightseeing. I like searching out for new roads to ride on and see what they're like. This is mostly going to be our riding YouTube channel. You know, road closed, huh? 
bridges in Pennsylvania. Half of them are always closed. So yeah, my idea for the channel is just to explore American roads and video them for posterity's sake. And the fun of it. This sounds like a fun hobby to me. Hello. And I really didn't want to do this if it wasn't going to be fun. But who knows, along the way I might test ride a few other bikes too and post them up. The new Indian Challenger is one bike I really want to test ride. As an ex Road Glide fan, well, I'm still a Road Glide fan, but as an ex Road Glide rider, I'm dying to see what Indian did with that Challenger. I have a friend who took one for a test ride and he's buying one, like, soon. That surprised me because he's a diehard Harley guy. Not anymore, apparently. Kind of like me, I guess. Look out, squirrel. Though I do want to be clear, I do still love Harley Davidson. I'll probably make another video about that. But see how this is my first moto vlog. I won't go into that right now. Hello. So yeah. I mentioned how I love this Goldwing. Another squirrel. I live in Pennsylvania, by the way, Berks County, about an hour west of Philadelphia. So I'll mostly be posting videos about roads in the Pennsylvania area, probably. But I do a lot of riding outside the state, too. Like I said, I've been all over the country. Every state except for two, well, two in the continental United States, Washington and Alabama. I'm not set two wheels in either one of those states yet. And then, of course, Hawaii and Alaska. I haven't been there yet either. Alaska's a bucket list. I want to ride up to Alaska. Someday I'm going to do that. My brother and I are planning a trip up to Colorado this summer. I'll definitely take a lot of footage of that trip. Actually, Colorado is one of my favorite states to go riding in. Colorado has spectacular scenery. This road's kind of nice. I'm not sure exactly where I am. Yeah, I had the GPS, but I'm not sure I've been on this road before. And that's kind of what I'm going to do with this channel. There are honestly a lot of roads in Pennsylvania that I've never been on yet. Even though I've been riding here my whole life. So if you stuck around this long, thanks for watching. I'll be putting up more videos, you know, for the fun of it. We'll see how they turn out. So if you want to see more, subscribe so you get notified when I put more up. Like the video if you want to, all that stuff. We'll see if I can monetize this thing or not. This moto vlogging hobby that I've decided to take up. I think either way, it'll be fun to try it. If the channel pays for the GoPro in the end, hell, I got a free GoPro then. That'd be pretty awesome. Wouldn't mind that at all. Again, me being frugal. So that's my introduction to my channel. My first moto vlog. Knock on wood, plastic, whatever. So ride safe, take care, and see you next time.